U.S. safety regulators say millions of additional cars on the road right now could have potentially deadly airbags. The nationwide recall of driver's side airbags made by Japanese company Takata includes Ford, Honda, Chrysler, Mazda, and BMW vehicles manufactured before 2008. One car safety group estimates that could impact as many as 25 million cars on the road. The record now, right now is 21 million vehicles in a single recall, and if we go over 20 million more vehicles, we are going to have an all-time record. And that's not a badge of honor, that's a badge of shame. The problem occurs when the airbag is deployed. Instead of protecting the driver and passengers, the airbag inflator can rupture, sending metal shrapnel flying. That's what 26-year-old Corey Burdick says happened when he crashed his 2001 Honda Civic near Orlando in May. His attorney says Corey now only has vision in one eye. His car stalled. He was in a fender bender. Should have walked away. But instead, the airbag exploded and sent a three-and-a-half-inch piece of steel into his face, taking out one of his eyes. Uh, and now he's horribly disfigured, unfortunately. Rich Newsom filed a lawsuit against Honda and airbag manufacturer Takata on Burdick's behalf. A uh, regular person wouldn't expect that when their airbag goes off, they're going to end up being blinded or killed by a piece of exploding metal. The airbag manufacturer says they're cooperating with federal authorities, but the company is resisting a nationwide recall. In a statement, Takata tells CNN it's concerned a nationwide recall could potentially divert replacement airbags from where they're needed, putting lives at risk. It favors a regional recall focusing on states with high humidity. Takata says humidity triggers the defect. For Corey Burdick, who survived his injuries, it's about holding manufacturers accountable to prevent another injury or even death. What would really be great is for the manufacturers to come together and say, you know what, we need to fix this broken system. We need to do a better job about telling people when there's a potentially deadly defect. Well, since this expanded recall was just announced yesterday, the agency is still working with manufacturers to determine the exact models affected by this nationwide recall. In the meantime, safety experts suggest not sitting too close to the steering wheel. If you have passengers in your uh, vehicle, put them in the back seat. No one's going as far as saying not to drive your car. Uh, but just a note, you know, it's going to take a couple of days before manufacturers get all the information out to NHTSA. Uh, what they're suggesting is down Download the smarter uh, car, the safer car app on your smartphone, and you will immediately be alerted if your car is impacted. Yeah.